Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope everybody's well today. I'm going to replace this square I have on top of my honeycomb. I originally put it in so I could position things easily underneath my overhead camera. And I added this lip so I could lift the wood off the honeycomb bed and prevent flash burn. But now I just use these uh, so I don't need that anymore and I'm going to put another one in. And I thought doing it, it might help somebody else, so why not video it? And I've done a video for these, so I'll, I'll drop a link down in the description, and you can make some of those, and it'll help you save some of your wood. So we're just going to take this out, put a new one in, and then hop into light burn and uh, mark it off. So this is quarter inch Luon uh, flooring underlayment. And you can get it at your local hardware store. I'll drop a link to it down in the description where I got it. And it gauges out at five millimeter, but it's, it's a great material for uh, projects. And uh, I think you'll enjoy using it. So we're gonna cut it out basically the same. I'm just gonna come down and over and then put some marks on it. So let's hop in light burn and uh, do that. Okay, so we'll start by opening up some preset grid numbers to uh, engrave on that piece of wood. And uh, you don't want to see me pecking out numbers all night, so that's the best way to go. And then we'll get an overlay of the piece of wood, and you can see the camera view. So I'm going to mark off the work area with some draggable lines. I'm going to put one on 60. And I've got a video for alignment tools that I'll drop down in the description, and you can check that out. You can grab one up top. I'm going down to 600. And that piece of wood extends down to 700. So... Uh, and once you get your uh, draggable lines in place, you can swipe across both of them or however many you have and then go over to Shape Properties and you can lock them in place. And if you don't have a Shape Properties tab somewhere on your page, go up to Windows and down to Shape Properties and make sure there's a check. Uh, then you want to grab a square, hold down Shift, and just let it go. Click your Selector tool. Go up top, make sure your lock is on. And then let's go uh, 304 millimeters. And that is uh, about 12 inches square, which is the standard size of a piece of basswood plywood that we use most often. And I'm going to go to the corner. And remember, you can scroll in and out with your scroll. You can push down and move the entire canvas around. I'm going to go to the corner, and you can see the cursor change. Grab that corner and just snap it into the tool that you've made. And if you uh, don't have snap on, go up to settings and make sure snap to object, snap to grid is on, and you will be good to go. So we're almost there. So I could just uh, I could draw out a cut line. To, to make this L, but I'm not going to do that because I won't draw it straight. So I'm just going to waste a little bit of laser over in the honeycomb. I'm going to pull this up to, that piece of wood extends up here to about 170. So that should do it. I'll go a little bit over. And we are ready. And it would be good if it would just start here and cut and then go up and cut and ride everything out, but that won't happen. So, but that's okay. 
Let's go to cuts and layers. You always want to make sure your engrave is on top and your cut is on the bottom. Doesn't matter where the tool line is, it's not going to cut anyway because the output is off. Uh, these preset grid numbers, I'm using Academy Engraved. So I can uh, use a line instead of a fill. And it, uh, it does a good job. Okay, we want to cut out a couple of spots on this, this edge here so we can uh, use some magnetic tie downs for when we pull the wood into the square. Uh, we'll be able to get to it and tie it down. So I'm just going to grab a square, draw out a rectangle so I can get in between these numbers here. And I'm going to go over to the Shape Properties tab and radius off those corners a little bit. Six ought to be good. I'll pull this in to the line. And then select it. That might be big enough, but I'm going to go to Tools, Deform Selection. And I'm going to drag a couple of these up, like so, and then click that. And I think that will be okay. I'll try to center this right in between the, the numbers, maybe. Something like that. Duplicate it with Control D. I think we'll put one here. I'm letting it go past a little bit just to make sure it cuts it out good. Control D again. I'm making this up as I go, so hopefully it will be okay. Probably change it to something else in a couple of months anyway. Control D again. Then I'll bring one over here. We'll use the comma key to rotate it counterclockwise and put it somewhere in here. And that should that should be fine. Okay, folks, let's jump in the laser and cut this out and see what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I believe we're ready. So let's uh, send the code over and get this cut out. Okay, folks, there it is. And it is exactly what we wanted to do. So then this edge over here can be locked down. And then when we want to cut something, just push it up into the square. And then you've got room here to lock it in place. So uh, I hope that was helpful. It's uh, not very complicated to do, but it's, it's really useful. So if you have any questions doing this, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be glad to help out. I really appreciate you folks taking time to watch. It does help the channel grow. And uh, it helps me to, uh, to learn with the comments and questions I get. And I believe it helps all the viewers. So just check back often for new videos. You folks take care. And we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.